Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to another episode of Beam NG Quickies. In today's episode, we're checking out the 1976 Bishu Clara. And this thing is an absolute beauty. We can add this to the list of dev quality mods for sure. This is uh, without a doubt one of the most beautiful car mods I've seen in a while. And we've been getting a lot of them lately and this still uh, stands out to me. I mean, just look at this. It is a beautiful Japanese wagon what more could you want I mean come on look at this thing it's absolutely beautiful let's go ahead and start this thing up and uh, see how she sounds beautiful man that thing just purrs doesn't it so this is actually the tuner version uh, so I guess it's not stock per se but I still say it sounds uh, pretty good, and I can already see a lot of Miramar uh, in the front of this thing. The people over to Bishu know what they're do doing uh, as far as styling goes. So, if we actually go over to the Clara here, we actually have quite a few uh, different versions here. We even have a derby version, a van version, if you just don't want to see out the back of your car. Uh, <laughs> for whatever reason. Ooh, the seafoam green. I love that. And we also have some luxury additions. I'm driving the tuner right now. There's also a drift version, because why not? And of course, a race wagon, a battle wagon, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, let's get inside this thing and see what we're working with here. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is a mod. This is not a dev-made uh, vehicle. This is a freaking mod. Look at the detail on this vehicle. Absolutely astounding. I love this so much. So, what do you say we uh, take it out on the road and uh, see what it can do, shall we? Now, this is a pretty fast version. Oh, it's so good. So, um, we gotta be a little careful about our driving here. So, right out the gate, I wanna say this isn't as boaty as you might think it would be. Oh, okay, and this is the tuner version. I, I hopefully, I did. did I click the drift version? I don't think I did. But uh, it feels pretty damn good, I will say that. Let's do a high speed test here on the bridge. <laughs> hopefully we can hit 100 in this. I think we can. 91, 93, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100 miles an hour. There we go. Now, how is it it's slowing down? We're soon going to find out. There's the center line right there. Let's hit the brakes. Can we stop in time? It's going to be close. But we're going to do it. That's a lot of car to slow down. So I would say it did pretty darn good. But I do know you guys want to see me crash this thing. So let's do that right now with this beautiful neological livery on now the question is what do we want to crash into now that is a big question uh how about just your standard light pole let's see how it handles it <laughs> uh, i don't know how safety requirements were back in the day and we're dead <laughs> just 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 straight up ripped around wrapped ourselves around the entire pole, my goodness gracious, that was uh, brutal to say the least. Let's actually pop the hood, or the bonnet, and uh, see what we got underneath. There we go. So under the hood right there, we got the C26 2.6 liter SOHC i6 engine. And man, does it sound good? Look at that thing. The attention to detail. Is this an engine that's already in the game? I don't know. Is it in the Abishu? Any Abishus? I, I, don't, I don't know. I want to say that this is a, a product of the mod, but I'm not positive on that. Anyway, it fits right in uh, to this vehicle. What a handsome, handsome vehicle we have here. I kind of want to try out the uh, quote-unquote luxury edition, the Lux. 2600 Claromatic, uh, luxury model equipped with a 2.6 liter i6 and a Claromatic, Claromatic, uh, transmission. What does that mean? I have no idea. Oh, yes, sir. Now we're riding in style, fellas. Look at this. It's the red leather, baby. Oh, it doesn't get much better than the, the Again, the attention to detail on this is just absolutely amazing. Shout out to everybody on Twitter. Uh, who was telling me to check out. I got like literally 10 or 15 messages on Twitter uh, asking me to check this out. Not so subtle shout out. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Neological underscore. <clears throat> anyway, we're whipping this thing. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, if I can do that that easily. Imagine the uh, imagine the drift version. Again, I'm not. I, I, I've said it a million times, but I am terrible at drifting in this game. And so if I could drift your car, that means it is a good car. And I can drift this thing pretty easily. It almost makes me want to try uh, the drift version. But first, well, first, let's go ahead and crash this thing. Because why not? Oh, there goes the hubcaps. Oh, the crash model is dev quality. Again, with the dev quality, that's going to be a running theme. Uh, with this vehicle, you might notice, but this, oh my god, look how good that looks. There is no jank whatsoever on this thing. I'm, I love it. Anywho, before we check out the drift version, I do want to try the race edition, because it, I assume it's going to be the fastest version, right? It only makes sense, so let's try this out. I love the description as well, it just says fast, lol. Well, I'll take your word for it, man. Oh, I love that startup. Anyway, let's see if this thing is. This is the world's fastest wagon. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, God. It is stripped down, and we got the roll cage. That makes me feel a little safer. Oh, yeah. There we go. 100 miles an hour easily. Oh, we're still going to drift it. Oh, we got to slow down. Face through the windshield. Yes, sir. Didn't last long. Uh... It didn't last long on that one, unfortunately. In the description of this mod, it, he does say that he might not be completely done with it, but if you're watching this LJ74, uh, I would love to see an off-road version. Or I guess this car wouldn't be a terrible off-road, but I, if we could have like a dedicated lifted off-road version, uh, that would be awesome, man. Anyway, let's try out the uh, drift version. Look how cool this thing is, man. I think I might use this one. Uh, for for the thumbnail for this one. Look at the Oh, it's so cool. Let's see if we can drift it. Come on. Get her sideways. Get her side. Oh, almost. Maybe I got to pull the e-brake. That would make sense, right? There we go. Definitely a drifter. Let's not hit the curb. Again, I'm terrible at drifting, but I'm not crashing yet, so that's a good sign. For the uh, drift edition, it's just oh, oh, seeing a wagon do this is just just absolutely crazy to me. There we go. Oh, it's so effortless, man. It's so good. How fast can it go, though? I like how it drifts to the left just ever so slightly. Whoa! We're gonna be fine, right? Oh! Surprised we did use lose that front splitter. We're still going though. We're absolutely fine. Does this does this road it? Oh yeah, it does. I thought this was a dead end for some reason. We're fine. Let's drift it off road here. <laughs> Loose, uh, loosely using the turf drift. That's all right though. Uh oh. And into the wall we go. Yes sir. All right. So what do you say we throw this thing off the car jump arena? Huh? I really want to see how far. Uh, that race edition can go and uh, how fast we will die. It's gonna be soon, but let's do it Let's try out the uh, the derby edition first. I don't know why I just say it looks like something straight out of wreckfest to me <laughs> Oh, yeah This is gonna be quick. I know it if not quick. It's gonna be tough, right? I would hope so artisan plumbing police. Yes, sir. Wait, what do the other ones say? Jono's panel and paint we got uh, we got some sponsors. That's nice. 135, 136 miles an hour, not bad. Straight as an arrow, we might drive away from this. Let's see how the suspension holds up here. Ooh, it flexed, but we are seemingly A-OK. -okay. Just a little bent out of shape, but besides that, we are fine. We're gonna go for a swim and park ourselves almost perfectly backwards into the uh, the deep end of the pool. That could not have gone better, I would say. That was beautiful, man. Got one question, though. It's a boat. Why are we sinking? That is a... Uh, seems like a... Seems like bad design for a boat, but who? what am I saying? What do I know? All right, let's try the GTZ 2600 top performance model equipped with the 2.6 liter i6. Love the paint job on this. The cherry red. How could you not love this thing? I got a special place in my heart for wagons, man. I want to, I want to, I want a wagon, man, like a classic wagon. I think it'd just be a ton of fun. We got dual windshield wipers in the back, man. 
Absolutely beautiful. 141 miles an hour. Not bad. That's going to get us pretty dang far past the 250, nearly to the 300. We are a little heavy in the back, though, because we hit the 290. <laughs> We're going to be a little bit shorter, but we land on all four wheels and we're fine. Absolutely fine. And into the drink we go. Oh, okay. Skipped it a little bit to the top. Besides that, again, we are okay. That's uh, that's two for two right there, man. Can the uh, race edition push past the 300 mark? I think it probably can. So let's give it a shot. Here we go. I feel the power. I feel the need for speed. 150 miles an hour. 154. That's where we're topping out. That is pretty good. And I think this is going to get us past the 300 mark. Nearly to the 350. But it looks like we're going to land on our roof. Can we get back onto the tires? Not looking good. Wait. Oh, no. It was... So close, but we do land on our tires. Can we get ourselves out of the the sand though? The sand trap, I think we might. By our own power, driving into the pool. So I'll count that as three for three as uh, surviving the jury from the top of the car jump arena. Anyway, man, the 1976 Abishu Clara. What an absolute beauty. LJ74, you have made an absolute masterpiece, and I can't wait to see what you make next. Anyway, I'll have the link for this mod down below in the description. Highly, highly suggest uh, you check it out. And while you're down there, why don't you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you like BMG and pretty much anything destruction related, you might want to sub. I upload stuff all the time that you're probably going to enjoy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.